Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My name is uh, Mahmoud Salah. I'm a consultant and uh, chief of uh, vascular surgery uh, in Saudi German uh, hospitals uh, group. Uh, I'm going to talk uh, today about a very specific uh, subject which is acute on top of chronic ischemia. Uh, we have many patients suffering of uh, atherosclerotic uh, peripheral uh, arterial disease and they are symptomatic. Uh, you have all seen this uh, patient is having some claudication uh, uh, on and off, some ulcers uh, on and off. Uh, but all of a sudden the patient is coming with acute pain. This acute pain, usually all the doctors treat him as, uh, not the vascular doctors, of course, I mean, in the ER doctors, and they know that he is a chronic ischemic patient, and they uh, uh, deal with him as chronic ischemia. Uh, actually, the most important item in diagnosis of acute on top of chronic ischemia is the history of the patient. The history of the patient is mandatory, is just take a detailed history of the patient. He will tell you that he used to walk like uh, 500 meters or 200 meters and starting to have the pain, but all of a sudden, three, four days ago, he had severe pain that uh, uh, relieved for uh, some time and uh, now he's not able even to walk this 200 meters. Uh, of course, number one investigation in such a case as you, we all do is the duplex uh, ultrasound. Uh, it will show you the uh, thrombus, but uh, don't deal with the patient as acute ischemia because Dealing with the patient as acute ischemia is not fair to the patient. This patient you will do whether embolectomy, whether the, but you will leave the, the main lesion still uh, underlying uh, uh, there. So we need to do both in the same setting if the patient's situation is okay. We need to do uh, either you can do embolectomy, small uh, femoral incision under local anesthesia, and you to, uh, do uh, embolectomy using Fogarty catheter. But the most important that you have to have an image after that. So after the uh, uh, embolectomy, small sheath in the femoral artery, and then you inject some dye, you will find the uh, lesion. And it is very uh, beneficial for the patient to do uh, uh, some angioplasty for the uh, superficial femoral, for the popliteal, for the infrapopliteal, whatever the situation in the same uh, setting. Uh, it's much easier for you as a surgeon and for the patient uh, to have both uh, treated in the same uh, session. Uh, embolectomy plus peripheral angioplasty and stenting can be done in the same uh, setting under local anesthesia, uh, which is uh, the ideal treatment. If you don't have the uh, equipment, you don't have the uh, atmosphere, you don't have the materials to do to deal with the clinic uh, with the chronic uh, uh, problem. Okay, fine. At least uh, do the embolectomy. Uh, when you have backflow, you can close the patient and you know that for a second session you will do an angioplasty. But the ideal is to do both uh, together. Thank you very much.